Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today at Bramley Motor Cars here near Guildford uh, to join, well, once again, by Shmi 150. Now, cast your minds back to earlier on in the week, actually, uh, my Garage Goals video with him went live. It was mega. It was like a half an hour special. He gave me a full on tour of all the cars in the collection and also quite a few hints to a new arrival, the brand new V12 that will be joining uh, Tim's fleet. And we thought, well, it'd be rude not to sort something out because we gave so many hints and that is why I'm here today. Now, Tim is inside filming his collection day video, which I'm sure you can see on his channel at the same time as this video goes live. Uh, but we'll have a bit of a wander around, see some of the stock here at Bramley's because I haven't been here in years. Uh, and then we'll go catch up with Tim and uh, join in the fun. Now, first of all, you have to understand the busy road and the working atmosphere. It's a weekday here, uh, so you can hopefully understand that. But we're in the courtyard first off, where we have a massive variety of cars. First of all, we have this stealthed out all black R8 V10 Plus. I absolutely love this generation. I think it's my favorite generation. I definitely prefer it more so to the, uh, the new one. Uh, definitely, especially from the front. And obviously this car, um, very underrated compared to the Hurricane thing, is it pretty much shares um, pretty much the same underpinnings. But yeah, I absolutely love these things. A dream to drive. Uh, next off, we have an F12. Now this one is finished in, I think, Grigio Silverstone. But have a look at that interior. Full beigey brown leather interior. Very, very classy. Very subtle as well. I like that about brutes of a supercar like this. So this thing is like over 700 horsepower and it's quite subtle, like it's not bright red or anything like that. But anyway, moving slightly down the spectrum, we have an Abarth. Now this one uh, actually, well, it shares some sort of badges to this because it is a uh, Tributo Ferrari edition. Very, very rare these things. But to obviously celebrate Ferrari, fellow Italian car manufacturer to Abarth, got the Scuderia stripes. Absolutely awesome thing. We've got a couple of Porsches, Bentleys up there, Turbo S, GT3. G-Wagon, another GT3 down there uh, as soon as you enter. But anyway, I think we should have a look inside the showroom, or should I say showrooms, <laughs> and see what else we've got in here. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this place. It's like an old little cottage. Very awkwardly quiet in here, though. Got an SLS up top, a 928 here. Defender. Ah, Targo Florio edition. Interesting. Two SLSs up here, actually, both of which the coupes. I uh, actually got those awesome gold wing doors, but this place is really, really cool. It's like an old little cottage. <laughs> this, the third SLS that we've got here in the showroom. This one is slightly rarer than the other two that were in the other room. This one is a GT. I'm not entirely sure how many were made, significantly less than the standard SLS coupe. Absolutely lovely spec on this. I would show you the interior, but it's very dark. Uh, carbon ever on the mirrors, some gloss black accents on the grills, the fuel cap on the wheels. Awesome, awesome car. Naturally aspirated 6.3 litre V8. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time around SLSs uh, as a whole. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible car. Definitely one of the modern classics, that is for sure. Talking about modern classics, 2006 Aston Martin Vanquish. Very James Bond, this car. In really good condition as well. Really, really good condition. Rarely see these things. It really is a real treat to see them, especially in condition like this. Anyway, moving on through. What is that under the cover? <laughs> we'll get to that shortly. We've got a Cali T, we've got a 599 at GTB, a Dino, another Ferrari which shall not be named but is fairly guessable at this stage. <laughs> Moving through here, oh, it looks like we've got some more Ferraris. We've got a 430, look at the colour on this. Let's have a look and see what colour this is. Have a little look. Ah, Mirabeau Blue, you see that just there. Stunning, stunning colour, looks amazing with the light cream interior an ff we've got a gtc4 lusso t this one is the twin turbo v8 uh variant not desirable shall we say especially on the purposes of this video um but it's finished in a gorgeous color this is uh azuro california if i'm not wrong uh, there we go azuro california blue 
only done 950 miles, 2018, loving the interior. Contrast between the light and the dark accents. We have a 612 Scaglietti. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at the interior on this. So this 458 Speciale has got blue seats. Wow, that is cool. Loving the stripe as well. It's, it's like a lighter variation of the Nart stripe, finished in what looks to be Rosso Scuderia, seeing as it's appearing quite orange on here. Got a 12C Spider. Uh, is this another? No, it can't be. Another Tributo Ferrari edition. Now, I know for a fact that it is very, very special to see two of these in one place. And actually, if I pan back to this little info sheet, you can see somewhere on here that it's one of just 200. <laughs> How mental is that? We've got a Z8 in the corner and another amazing spec 458 Speciale. How nice is this? Brown interior, grey with the double black stripe. Phenomenal. So yeah, I think it's definitely fair to say that there is a big variety of cars here. We've got Specialis, we've got a Bath, and we've got Land Rovers and everything. Haven't even gone out there yet, to be fair. Got an awesome dark green uh, RS6 there. But anyway, I think I'm, I'm getting a bit distracted here. I'm going to go join Tim, say hello to him, and, um, well, ultimately have a look at his new car. <laughs> should just be in here. Hello. Hey Luke, hey guys, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Bramley. What do we have here then? Something that's obviously making me quite excited. Yeah, right same, now. same. Um, I think yeah. it was, it, we needed to do something like this because we teased so much in our video. Yeah, we, we did. did. We, we talked, I'm trying to think what clues did we give? We gave V12, we gave naturally aspirated. Yeah, there was the Ferrari bag in between us. There was the Ferrari bag in between us. a couple of people noticed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think if, if it wasn't any more obvious, just by the way, there's a big prancing horse. Ah, uh, yeah, there. so I didn't realise that. <laughs> yeah, 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 so. I Without mean, further ado though, should we get the cover off? Uh, we should, we Have should. I mean, for, for me, this has been like, a long time coming. Hmm. The natural success. I guess you've seen me, you saw the FF at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, sort of out yeah, about. So this was always gonna come. Shall I pull the covers back? Let's do it. Should we, should we take a look at this? All right then, covers off time of the new GTC4 Lusso in TDF blue. Look at this. Nice. The I'm blue so Ferraris happy. for me are just the one. Yeah, and this car, the spec of this car, when it came up for sale, it's just, for me, it was done deal immediately. It was literally the perfect, it's just, it's got every option, all the carbon fiber, all the, you know, the carbon splitter, the carbon skirts, the carbon gills, the diamond turned wheels. It's like my old car with blue with red calipers. It is, isn't it? And it's got yeah. the same plate as well. Eagle Eye viewers might have noticed that. It is indeed. Xiaomi is back, as I've been saying. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I think people who know my channel know that it's pretty much been a waiting game for the arrival of a GTC 4 or so ever since the FF days. Yeah. I, I mean, even when I had my FF, I was talking at the time, it was the car I really wanted, but just needed to wait for the right car. Because for me, a car like this is to drive. You sure. don't buy it to sit and drive a tiny amount with it. I want to mm. go out and drive it like my daily driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's okay, a very so daily car. It's the most it, it, daily car. Well, the, Ferrari. If matter. you like an exciting sports car, it's the Ferrari front mid-engine V12, so the 812 and the Lusso, yep. or the AMG GTR. It's those True. two are the, yeah. the most sporty orientated daily driver cars, and that's what I'm going to use it for. So I needed a car that was a used car, has done a bit of mileage so that the price comes down a bit so that I don't go and take a massive a massive hit on it. So just come and have a quick look at the interior as well. Um, I suppose it gives you an excuse not to drive the NG GTR too much. Too you put too many miles. Done that too much. <laughs> In here we've got Nero leather, lots of blue accents, so the blue inserts, the blue stitching, the passenger display, the large central screen. Again, carbon fiber everywhere. The LED driver zone for the steering wheel, the center controls. It's everything. The carbon side steps as well down there for the. Uh, it's a lovely place. The to door be. sills. And one of my favourite things. Ah, um, yes. The little boot. party piece. Yeah, I mean, powerful tailgate is nice to have on a Ferrari. The fitted luggage. Now that's a big Who extra. Who doesn't love it? the fitted luggage? That's it's quite literally. Seen, yeah. The trolley bags match oh, the leather wow. of the car, the black with the blue accents. Ah, yeah, I see. The blue stitching. It's the exact same. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or just treasure them. Yeah, it's <laughs> just one of those things, isn't it? In any case, very special thing to have. You get your spec list. Have a quick look at this. The spec list nearly runs out of space. <laughs> That's <laughs> when you know it's the right car. <laughs> yeah, there are so many options on here. I'm going to read this through and be like, oh, I didn't know I had that. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> High power sound system. Yeah, we like that. Um, a couple of things that are off 
normal spec. And one of my favorite pretty small touches is that Ferrari now yes. has this, the Italian I love flag that. On, the boot, on the boot lid. It's such a small thing to have the Tricolore, the green, white, and red, but it looks so cool. Yeah, it does, really, I agree. Really, Especially really with cool. the blue as well. Yeah, contrasts nicely. So, I mean, I like the Lasso being a very smart spec. Mm. Now, I don't, didn't want it Rosso Corsa. I mean, it's lovely as the Dino over there is behind. But I wanted, you know, it's a daily driver. I want it to almost sometimes be a bit discreet, sometimes be able to just you know, sneak in as much as you can sneak in with a ginormous <laughs> <meat> <laughs> I was about to say, actually. Out of the exhaust system. <laughs> But um, I think it's that, it's that kind of character. It's not yeah. necessarily shouty, but believe me, if you drive one of these hard, it's a fast thing. Really? Really fast. What's power like, sorry? 690 horsepower. 690? Yeah, 6.3 wow. litre NAV12. Four wheel drive, of course. Yep. So course. it pulls out of the corners. I can't remember the exact stats, but in excess of 200 miles an hour. Yeah. Somewhere just over three seconds to 62. For a wagon. Well, yeah, for a wagon, literally for a wagon. You know, the amount of space in the back, I don't know if you've ever really had a look at this, but um, let me just come to you. I've never the... experienced a, a Lusso So before. if you pull the seat forward, oh, well, um, yeah. they're like almost bucket seats back there. I like they're how really it's the same little design as the yeah. front. But they're genuinely comfortable. And the way they're positioned, they're slightly inside of the front seats and slightly higher. I see. So you get this visibility line straight forward. And in this car, you get the visibility through the panoramic roof. Have a quick look at the inside. Look up at the, at the roof. It's amazing. Oh, wow. It's literally one completely Crikey, that's huge. It's the whole roof. Like, you normally think panoramic roof and you think, oh, it's just an oversized sunroof. Yeah. You know, just a small, a larger piece of glass. It's literally everything apart the from this roof. thin pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a small strip at the front, the thin pillars down the side, back to the spoiler back here. I mean, even things like this, this would normally be body color. That's been painted. Oh, I see. That's an option to have that painted oh, black nice to match with the glass. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's well, really I must really say, nice. a massive, massive congratulations. Thank you very much, and thanks for coming down. No worries. No, it looks absolutely stunning. I do need to work out how the seats and things work. <laughs> All that kind of new car stuff. It does, it does move back automatically, but I think I must have pressed the button that stopped it. <laughs> but you'd be amazed with how much space there is in the rear. And, you know, with my FF, people have seen some of my videos, I've done some silly stuff, like ski holidays. Had a whole yeah. bunch of pairs of skis in the back. I took it to Ikea. <laughs> I bought a, like, 2 meter, 30 centimeter tall bookcase in the back of my FF, which... Not, not many FF like, owners do. No, not many <laughs> FF owners do, but there's no other car. There's, it's a Ferrari that can do that, yeah. and this can do that. It is a bit... Do you know, the Lusso is a little bit softer than the FF. It's not quite the same. That. Yeah, the suspension's a touch softer, the steering's a touch softer, the sound is softer until you pull or plug the exhaust valve, yeah. or yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, but outside of that, four-wheel steering, super agile, fun thing to drive, seven-speed double clutch, extended carbon shift paddles. Basically, it's, it's like the one car dream, this. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. in love. <laughs> I am already. I've not even driven the thing. I've not even turned the thing on. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that's a good suggestion. Yeah, Should we, uh, we ought to get onto that first because people want to hear that V12. Yeah, I'm so. sure they do. Mm -hmm. have to wait a second. I do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But you've missed that noise, haven't you? Yeah, just, just a bit. Just even the starter. Of course, we've got the valve system here. Yeah. But even just like a quick blip to about 3,000 RPM, about two and a bit. There's nothing that beats no. that. It's Absolutely so, well, that's 3, nothing. 3,000 RPM. It goes to 8,250. For a wagon. Yeah, for a wagon. <laughs> just never forget, this is a wagon. I've missed it so much. There you go. So much. in the pudding. Let's go rack up the Mars, eh? Yes, that's going to happen. It's <laughs> a bit thousand now. I think it's going to be like 14 and a bit thousand in a year's time. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, more. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Feels good to be back inside one of these. Well, I say back inside one of these. I haven't owned one of these. Back inside a Ferrari. You know, it's a Ferrari. It's a product of Marinello. And... Just a small taste until we get out. Love it. So here we are then. Yes. In the new Lusso. The first drive. Very excited. This is the first time I've ever been in a, in a Lusso. Okay. Which is okay. interesting. Um, I, I can't say I've ever been in an FF either, so this is all very new for okay, me. Okay, very new. First um, impressions? It's very... What I like about this, alright, because albeit we have done a few miles already, yeah. how it can be so calm and relaxed, and then when you press a few buttons, it's, yeah. what, a 690 brake horsepower, 
V12 monster. Exactly, driving like this, comfort mode, automatic gearbox, we're in seventh gear at 30 something miles per hour. <laughs> Cruising along, double glazed windows. Yeah. It's quiet, it's almost boring, isn't it? Almost, I mean, not necessarily, I, I dare say it's boring. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, wrong terminology. Yeah. But it's it's very calm, it's very comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's actually, this is more comfortable than the FF was ever able to do. It didn't go quite this much of a Grand Tour, you yeah. could say. But then, you can start twizzling things on the Manatino, sport mode. You can press the auto button in the centre console, and it goes manual. And then you can start using the pads, and you can start hearing a little bit more of the noise. You just get that gentle noise. It's very, I think the car is actually surprisingly well made, which means yeah. all you hear is the purity of the V12. Interesting, okay. You don't have the, you know, there are no creaks and weird noises. No, yeah, it's no very, 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 very right. calm. Just a controlled amount of sound, I think, going yeah. into the cabin. And we'll get to a national speed limit road in a second where basically we can do more of that, you know, drop it down to first gear just for fun there. Um, and uh, open it up a little bit, but it's like it's, it's just glorious. so seamless. Yeah. Like you've got that larry noise there, and then more than obviously double clutch. Yeah. It's if we pop the, the window down a touch, it actually gets probably quite a lot louder. Oh, we're following a horse. Um, ah. So we have 690 horses to one. <laughs> uh, but it does unfortunately mean we're in a little bit of a traffic jam. Yeah. No more traffic then. <laughs> so. Oh, yes. It's so good. It's so good, you know. Obviously, the exhaust tailpipes are a long way back behind us. It's not exactly a small car. Yeah. And on these kind of small roads, I'm experiencing this. It's a small car. And the noise. It's addictive, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfection. Downshift. Should we, should we get one more? Yeah, why not? Was that even a question? <laughs> yeah. It's this kind of, well, as you said, it's an addiction. You yeah. just want to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. It's, it's quick as well. I mean, that's like, not foot flat. No, no, no. But it's really quick if I put my foot completely flat. Really, 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 really quick. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that power the whole weight of it. Yeah. I mean, it must be one of the fastest cars with this kind of number of seats. For sure, yeah, and this weight, I imagine. I mean, actually, I don't think, I don't know the weight, but I don't think it's that heavy, considering it's a V12 yeah. and it's five meters long and so on and so on. Yeah. And so on. <laughs> but I've got a lot to learn in terms of tech. Yeah, for sure. I was just looking at all that. It's obviously you come from the FF. Yes, yeah. but this is this is different. Yeah, it is. different ball game. This is a whole much larger interface, touchscreen. You've got your digital display. I've got my yeah. I've got my, I've got my own little display of here as yeah. well. <laughs> I've got two more digital displays in front of me. We've got four screens. Yeah, that's absurd. Like four full color large screens, and touch screens. Um, necessary, probably not. Fun, definitely. Yes. <laughs> um, what else is there really to, to talk about? I mean, there's a lot of carbon in here. I inspect the top. These bits in carbon, the LED yes. driver zone as well with the shift lights, you might have seen that. Yeah. When I do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those shift lights back into gear. I love that you can do that in a Ferrari. Yeah. Drop into neutral, whoop, and then off you go. No again. matter what gear in as well. Yeah. Um, super easy. And then, I mean, like I said, this car, this particular spec of this car is right up to the top. That was one of the big attractions to me of this specific one, is just how much it has by way of extras and options. Uh, and order box from factory absolutely loaded up to the very top every single box <laughs> yeah, and we've, we've returned back we've to, returned back to the traffic now, following, following our one horse one horse power it doesn't quite have the pace down the road that we haven't scared it off yet <laughs> <laughs> well we haven't gone past well, we do go very past true. suddenly pop it back into comfort and, yeah, yeah, and be a little bit quieter about it you've got the diffuse in the climate control so it opens up this which yeah. is quieter and you know mm. air floats around very good for filming you don't get like yeah, you don't have the loud air conditioning blowing at the camera. Um, comfortable seats. Mm. I always say is bring on the road trip. Yeah, I was about bring to say this the, is this is the road trip car, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's it's a car that you come to gel with the more you drive it because you realise how usable it is in mm. every environment. How it can be a desperately shouty, exciting supercar, mm. but it can also be your daily. Yeah, yeah, hatchback. Yeah, that's silly, isn't it? Silly, say? yeah. <laughs> There's a phrase that doesn't necessarily make much sense, yeah. but it is a Ferrari hatchback. It's the hottest of hot hatches. Yeah. 
but it is a hatchback, a four-wheel drive hatchback with a big V12 lump, but, you know, who's, who's, who's comparing? <laughs> quick as well, isn't it? It revs very, very quickly, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can confirm. Well, maybe, not as we go past somebody, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Just the question is, to pull out the exhaust valves or not, mm. to have them all always open. I did that in my FF, and yep. loved it. It made it sound so good. You did something similar to the GT8, didn't you? You took out the valve. I have a switch, a switch. control yeah. switch in the GT8. But the thing with this car is that sometimes want the slightly quieter characteristic of it. Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. The, da the daily drive, mm. relax mode. Mm. Decisions to be made. <laughs> Decisions. <in time. laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming along, Luke. No worries. Well, thank you. It's been uh, it's been good to have you on the channel for, well, the second time in a week. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, the coincidental timing of this and how we were joking about it before and here it is. We, we couldn't not, like we said no. at the beginning of the video, we couldn't not sort something out. Know, thank you again for, for, uh, no. for sorting something out. Good fun to share the first drive with you. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Actually, that's a good point. I've, I've been in it before anyone else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> some bragging yeah. rights. First time I've ever driven this car. Mm. But anyway, obviously your collection day video will be going up at the same time as this. I presume people have already seen that video. But if not, there'll be a link at the end of this video for you guys to go and check out. Um, anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. Cheers.